Hey guys, welcome to the channel. First time doing this, so please bear with. But um, I'm hoping today, with the assistance of a little helper, to give you a rundown, a bit of a review of the Tarp 10 Scarp 1 2022 updates. Um, you can hear my little helper in the background, hopefully. So um, yeah, let's dive in and have a look. So here she is all pitched, guys. Um, I'll give you a quick walk around. Can't confess it's the best pitch, but I'm still still learning on that front. Uh, my first scarp, my first tap tent. So, what's changed for 2022 in terms of updates? Let's first have a look at... Um, what they call the pitch lock uh, struts and ends. So, Caddy, yeah. you okay in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the the pitch lock um, struts now, as you can see, have a apologies for the dirty hands, have a much more secure footing. They're also um, I'm not sure if this is a 2022 update. They're they're sewn in as well, so they they really don't go anywhere. Um, so that seems an immediate improvement in terms of how they're seated. Um, I don't know if you can see the um, there's a there's a strap in between them to to keep them give that geometry and that strength to the corners. Cads, can you be a little bit quiet now, Ange? Um, second update for 2022 is the way the crossing poles attach. Um, I'm actually still waiting on the crossing poles to arrive. Um, they didn't arrive with the tent, but a uh, quick email to Tarp Tent, and they um, they sent they, they basically sent them out the same day. So these are actually fitted now with um, uh, line lock tensioners. So they're a little bit more secure in how they move and fix um, with this kind of webbing and grommet attachment here. So the pole once set up over the scarp there would fit into this now um this being my first tarp tent maybe those of you who are more au fait with the scarp uh, and tarp tent um this is not not an update as such but maybe a little criticism from me that this this line system here at the end for the pitch locks it's a little bit short for my liking um I'm probably going to replace those, that guy line uh, with a with a longer a longer length, so you could extend the the um, the peg out point, uh, and basically I think will give you a stronger structure. This, although this is at about a 45 degree angle, you can see the the middle one there is it's quite quite steep, um, and I think would would likely put quite a bit of stress on the even though these are eastern um i think they're nine inch eastern nine inch nails not the band um if i just re-peg that you can see the maybe you can't see it that well you can see the angle the geometry on the end there puts quite a bit of quite a bit of stress on this point maybe maybe more so than than is necessary i'm not sure so that's um that's maybe a little critique from me a little improvement that i'll make i think lengthen these out so we so i can peg it peg it back further Sh only, only a little bit but it should make it should make it stronger in the wind as well i've yet to test this um out in the wild so to speak to see what its performance is like but yeah i'm not so keen on, on the angle of those um pitch lock pegging points I think they need to be longer than they are obviously that's going to add a little bit of weight but it should be should be marginal uh, back to the 2022 updates um, now have these webbing points all along the arch pole sleeve which I'm I'm informed they're actually for um, a secondary pole to go in there um, so you could in theory double pole it um, I'm not sure, personally, I'm not sure how easy it would be to double pole that. Um, I think it would be very fiddly, 
especially in conditions that you're likely to want a double pole. Um, so what I've um, I've gone for is I, I don't think I'll ever double pole this tent. Uh, I can't rule it out, but um, obviously I've added some um, Lawson uh, glow wire here, uh, 2.5 mil, um, just to be able to. Um, guy this out as well, guy the arch pole and provide more structure and strength to that. Again a little critique I do think for the cost of the tent um, which I'll I'll probably address when I do a full review of it um, that it should come with with side guy lines attached. So other updates for 2022. Um, I'm told this isn't a 22 update but maybe something I've never seen in other reviews. I really like this um, buckle here on the door um, to obviously take take stress off when, when you've got it got it pitched out um, so you can then take stress off the zip um, one improvement I do like is you can see that the velcro here has been um, replaced with a, a loop and let's just open this up a loop and toggle system so it's pretty difficult to do this one handed but uh, I think that that is a much more reliable system uh, and is seen on some other tents like your uh, hello, hello you is seen on some other models like the uh, is it the Fjall, Fjall Ravens Another update for 2022 is the, the much critiqued pockets. You can now see that you have two actually usable pockets here for the interior. There's my hand for reference. So, you know, phones, head torch, etc. They should actually be pretty usable in comparison to um, the triangular pockets the previous model used to have. So I think that, that's you know really tiny improvement but in terms of usability maybe you can also slide some stuff in in behind here as well as well as as well as in there i don't know maybe a map something um but yeah a much needed update um and i think um will add some some usability to to the tent hey guys so i'm just going to conclude this review with um covering a bit of information on the top tent website here you can see um, so I went for the, the solid interior with aluminium crossing poles. Comes in at um, an American 63.75 ounces, which um, on my scales um, with stakes um, and poles included, um, actually without without the crossing poles, because I've not received them yet, 48.25 ounces, which um, in metric for us, for us guys either side of the pond, is about 1.4 kilos or 1.397 kilos um, and that's with it uh, seam sealed by tarp tent as well which is obviously going to add a few a few extra grams um, you can see um, the updates for 2022 are covered here light lighter more solid fabrics although they're still um, 30 denier uh, silicone coated fabric so pretty much equivalent to um, say a, a Hilleberg um, red label or the curl on 12, 1200 they use in the Hilleberg red label tents more secure pitch lock tubing connection so those are the um as i said the tubes at the at the end of the tent that give you the structure and the geometry which give you the headroom uh, improved interior pockets as covered in the video um, and end-to-end -end manufacturing quality improvements so i guess that's things like the sewing quality uh, the way the fabric's cut etc um I'm I'm reliably told the nine millimeter arch pole update was not 2022. Um, that was done on a, on an earlier update, maybe the 2019 2019 update. But there you go. If you um, if you do log on to the um, Tap Tent website, there is plenty of information on here, uh, including how to seam seal it, set up, uh, how to reduce condensation. And what I will say about Tarp Tent is, in my brief correspondence with them so far, is that Henry or Henry Shire is the guy who um, who founded Tarp Tent. He's very responsive over email. Him and his team um, don't take long to get back to you at all. Um, and you know, 
even stupid questions, they, they, will, they will come back to you. So hope you found that quick review uh, on the 2022 update useful. Um, please subscribe if you did find it useful because hopefully this is the start of me kind of vlogging some of my outdoor adventures, uh, kit reviews. Um, I enjoy fell running as well as wild camping and, and, and exploring the mountains. So if that's your bag, then please stay tuned. And um, yeah, what a way to spend a Saturday, eh? Getting out and about in your tent um, and enjoying those vistas and views and uh, a bit of mountains for the mind. So yeah, please tune in for some further updates. Thanks, guys.